The Scientific Method This is planet Earth. It seems very small from outer space. But on it live all known living things. animals, all the plants, everyone. The Earth is a big spaceship traveling through the universe. And it has everything we need to survive. Air, water, and food. Since the beginning of time, people have asked themselves many questions about the natural world. Why does the moon change shape and move across the sky? How come birds can fly, but people can't? Why do children look like their parents? Why do hens give birth to little chickens and not elephants? Why is it very hot in some places and very cold in others? Science tries to find the answers to all these questions and more. To become a scientist, you have to study and study and study from when you're quite young. And learn the scientific method, observation, deduction and experimentation. Isaac Newton was one of the greatest scientists ever. One day, an apple fell on his head. He observed that everything you throw up into the air eventually comes back down again. So he worked out, or deduced, that there must be a force in the earth that attracts objects to it, like a big magnet. He called it the force of gravity. It is very easy to carry out an experiment to see if this force exists or not. All you have to do is throw something up into the air and watch what happens. Everything falls back down again. So Newton was right. Scientists study the world in order to make our lives easier and better. We have better hospitals. We can fly even as far as the moon. If you like science, you'll have to study very hard, but perhaps one day you'll help get rid of hunger or nasty illnesses. <sighs>